Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nick Lizasso, and I am president of the Cultural Center of the Philippines. When the pandemic started, the performing arts came to a halt. It's still quite uncertain when we can all come together to watch and enjoy a show. But I personally believe in the power of music. That's why we created the series PPO Music for Healing in your bedrooms, in your living rooms, and in your workplace. So our loyal subscribers and other members of the audience could enjoy the performances right from the comfort of their homes. The repertoire was chosen and members of the PPO recorded themselves as they performed. That was our way of reaching out to the public to help in creating a calm and peaceful environment, even in the face of uncertainty and fear. Now we bring you yet another series. With this evening presentation, we introduce the PPO Chamber Music Concerts. Every month, you will be treated to a chamber music concert featuring purely classical repertoire. It may not be the same as watching from the orchestra section of the CCP Main Theater. But through these online concerts, we hope to give you front row access to witness intimate musical expressions. So, sit back, have a drink on hand, and enjoy tonight's concert. Franz Anton Hofmeister is a German composer born in Rottenborgland, Neckar, in May 1754. At the age of 14, he went to Vienna to study law, but the city's rich and varied musical life amazed and entranced him. After graduating, he decided to devote his life to music. By the 1780s, Hofmeister had become one of Vienna's most popular composers with an extensive and varied catalog of works to his credit. He was particularly prolific in chamber music with a quantity of string quartets and flute quartets among many other works. His works are not only rich in emotional expression, but are also distinguished by the interesting and suitable use of instruments.
Giovacchino Rossini was an Italian composer who wrote 39 operas, as well as sacred music, chamber music, songs, and some instrumental and piano pieces. His operas amongst the most performed in the world. He was born on February 29, 1792, to a mother who was an opera singer and a father who was a French horn player. Even after retirement, he continued to mentor emerging young composers.
That concludes this evening's first concert offering under the PPO Chamber Music Concerts. We hope you enjoyed the performances. We invite you to share these videos and subscribe to our social media pages to keep updated on our online offerings. Once again, this has been your host, Nick Lizazo. We'll see you again next month for the next PPO Chamber Music Concert. Continue to practice all prescribed safety precautions and keep safe. Thank you and good evening. Thank you.